This video shows you how to integrate a Microsoft Azure Active Directory spoke with a ServiceNow instance. The integration helps you to manage users and groups, assign and unassign devices, and manage passwords and licenses. We're logged into our ServiceNow instance with the admin role. Before we begin the integration, we need to make sure the Microsoft Azure Active Directory spoke is installed, and it is. To create an Azure application, First, we'll navigate to the Azure portal, select App Registrations, and then New Registration to initiate the app creation. We'll name the application, then select the account type. For this example, we'll select Single Tenant because our instance of Azure is used only by our organization. Next, we need to enter the redirect URI which is the URI that Azure will use to make a callback to the ServiceNow instance once the authentication is complete. You can get the redirect URL from the ServiceNow documentation. We'll change the URL to include our instance ID. Under Platform, we'll select Web Platform, then Register. Take note of the client and tenant ID details. We'll need these details later. The next step is to generate the secret for your application. The client secret is used by the ServiceNow instance in our OAuth application registry to generate the required tokens for establishing a connection with the Azure Active Directory APIs. To generate the secret, navigate to Certificates and Secrets and select New Client Secret. Enter a description and select Add. Here is the secret that Azure generated for us. This is the only time that Azure will show us the generated secret, so let's make sure we save it. Now we need to provide the permissions for our application. Each action has a different set of permissions. For this demo, we'll add the permissions that allow us to add an owner to a Microsoft Azure Active Directory group. To do this, navigate to API Permissions and select Add a Permission. Choose Delegated Permissions and search for the permissions that the action requires. Then select Add Permissions. Now we need to grant admin consent for them. Select Grant Admin Consent for ServiceNow. The next step is to configure the integration in the ServiceNow Flow Designer application. Navigate to Flow Designer and select the Connections tab. In the Azure AD tile, select View Details, then Configure. Now we need to provide information for our integration to work. We'll get this information from ServiceNow product documentation and the details, like client ID and secret, that were saved in the earlier steps. Get the auth URL from the ServiceNow documentation and replace directory ID with your Azure application tenant ID. Do the same for the token URL and revoke token URL fields. In the OAuth client ID field, enter the Azure application client ID then enter the client secret. Finally, in the redirect URL, replace your instance name. Select Configure and Get OAuth Token. Provide your Azure account login credentials for authentication. An access token is generated and stored in the ServiceNow instance. This token will expire after a certain amount of time, but it will be automatically refreshed by the ServiceNow platform. Now you can use the predefined Azure Actions to create your flows and exchange data between the two applications. For more information, see our product documentation or knowledge base, or ask a question in the ServiceNow community.